a PM player from Texas. Okay, and then he RX. crushes in melee. And then he beat Ginger to get to where he is right now. Yeah. Losers. Uh, Face roll also losing to Mango and pretty much a, a nail biter of a set. Literally so. game five on Yoshi's story, and all he had to do was one more move. <laughs> yeah, didn't didn't happen. That he didn't do. So it's interesting. Face roll when he played against Mango, it was like it reminded me a lot of the uh, the Plup Mango set from Evo, I think 2016 or 17, um, where Mango lost. Yeah. In like you know a little bit earlier in the tournament for Mango, and like Ooh. Griffin's got what it takes to not take any of Falco's uh, like guff. You know? Yeah. So I'm interested to see how he does against Albert, who is like a worse Falco than Mango, basically. I think for like four nice. years, maybe not four, like three years, Griffin kind of plateaued and was like always a perennial top 100 player, but not like ever going to break out of that. And, and like nice. this past year, he's top 15, might even be top 10 by the end. Yeah, he. this was like his, his big breakout year. And it's interesting, Griffin is the guy who is like, he was said to be the fastest rise of a player since. Yeah. He's like a Doc kid, I'm pretty sure. Or like very close to Doc. He got good really quick, and then he kind of stayed at like that really good in SoCal like phase. Yeah. And I'm wondering what, what exactly went down. Maybe it's just Sheik. I don't know. Because <laughs> like Squid's been on the, kind of the same path. They're like uh, the rivals of their, their region. And Squid's not, close, got it's not there. close anymore. Yeah, yeah. But so face roll up the stock. It doesn't look good for this stock. Albert. Looking for that juicy times. Give him the juicy times. Yeah, that's juicy. Albert, also, I wonder, he looked like this at low tier city too, as well. Um, but it was like, it looks like he hit the boot. You know what I mean? No. What like do you he, mean he hit he, the he's boot? Always, he's always looking really intensely at the screen. Uh, okay. You, th you think that's hit the boot? Yeah. Like looking, like, that means like he drank some, like a Red Bull. No, the boot is the. Or coffee. No, dude. I mean, you know, never mind, never mind. What's the, what's the boot? Ludwig never partied in high school. <laughs> I, hey, I, I have made some videos. The zany sidekick <laughs> had to find time he, somewhere. He was a cod kid. It's fine, I it's fine, could fine. not find time to party. There's a dare from ledge. Gets punished for it. You got to not do that, maybe? I don't know. Albert's so smart. Yeah, he is. I really like uh, Griffin's like runoff platforms or slide off platform aerials. He did the mango to him. He does it a lot to like uh, gain space. Yeah, like the new the new vibe of just platforms being so ambiguously advantageous for people on and landing on them is uh is super hard to deal with these days. Yeah, people always call him like the tech chase guy, but he's also like fucking nasty on platforms. Oh, yeah. beat Needle. This could be it. Oh, I can't Jesus. believe he missed. That was such a nice dare too. He came through the platform, clipped Griffin, and then landed on the ground pretty safe. Oh, like that. Ooh, blessed. Come on. And gave him what Griffin, uh, Griffin couldn't get. He was looking pretty good. I mean, Griffin should have closed it out. He missed a couple things. Yeah. I mean, right off the bat, he missed like just like a shield drop. And then he just missed that. I mean, he's not looking as clean as he could. He snaps the ball. I will say, I heard his loss to Mango was his first uh, set loss in weeks. Really? I can't confirm. I've heard it's well, been get, weeks. <laughs> Since he's lost a set? Yeah. Like he's just been winning tournaments the whole time? Yeah. Like, I, don't I don't think He didn't lose one at Fate, right? I don't think so. I think it's like fate to I, now. I could be wrong, but like that. That's of just course, yeah, sure. He's not going to like you know yeah, shine like, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's uh, it's still impressive. I he's mean, really good. It's also the idea of breaking through from one threshold to another, kind of like IBDW did. It's like how is it done? And it's something that hasn't really been cracked yet. Um, like in a real tangible way, it's kind of happened. Well, there's, there's two factors, right? So there's the ability to beat the people ahead of you and then not lose to the people behind you. Yeah, like and ever. He, he doesn't lose to the people behind him now. Not either. anymore, right. You know, he used to. And he used to be able to take people in front of him. Now he can do both. Yeah. And I think the second one's a lot harder. Oh, man, he misses the fair again. Okay. Oh, special. Special boy for Christmas. Oh, my God. He just yeah. catches him where it's he's It's kind of hard, him. right? You're coming down like that as about. Oh my god. I like how he still holds it after he goes to the top windmill. Like, you're not going to get it you at know, that point. You know, you have to. You have to. Because <laughs> yeah. you're getting hit either way, and yeah. there's like a small two outer chance that you get there. <laughs> you, you can learn it. <laughs> yeah, you can learn it. <laughs> nice. Windmill not helping there. So far, been really close. Wow. All right, all right, all right. That's a bit of a tough spot, too. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh! Okay. <laughs> oh, no. 
Griffin's so emotive these days too, as well. He was when he was playing Mango. Every time he got a grab, he smiled like a. Uh, so like he was he, he was like drifting between like full focus and then laughing. Yeah. And I and I don't know what makes him do either. He's a pretty big goof. He's a goofer. He is a goofer. Um, anyone who knows him in real life, he loves it. He's from Irvine, California, which is a land of bamboozling. Damn. There, there. And uh, yeah, their 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 trademark move is to fool you, and then say, you know, just kidding. Oh, what a grab! Not so egregious that he's a just a prank, bro. No, 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 no. It's very minor shit. Getting stuff by lasers. These are really good. Yeah, I like. I feel like he brought them out specifically last talk. Albert doing. Oh, oh my wow. god. <laughs> yeah, Albert doing aerials from ledge is a little spooky. He keeps kind of defaulting to it, like. He did, he did lose the last game by missing a ledge dash show, so it's like, you know, you gotta trust your instincts, like Tempe says. Ooh! You don't really see Falco calling out platform jumps with down smash. Easy peasy. Nice, I like the up smash. I feel like Griffin's been missing a lot of his first options, and he still will close it out with his backups, but you gotta hit your first strat. Yeah, he's also like... It's making it harder on himself. Kind of like landing the, the, the precise fair to like, you know, hit Albert's recoveries. Yeah. Missed a couple of them actually, which is kind of what you practice a lot of Sheik, so... It's like the hard stuff is getting done and then the, the medium stuff is... such just, a filthy combo. It grabby. Reads it. Reads it. Or is he reacting? This we'll combo was much less exciting but did the same damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you've ever tried to re-tech in place, or, or react to tech in place with Sheik, it's exciting, but only for like 20 people. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're creaming. <laughs> it's, Melee's just a very visual game. Yeah, that's why we love Falco. And it's he hard to play really lame, and then if he gets the shine, he just goes off, and we're like, yeah, we clap our hands. <laughs> Ooh. Nice, sweet catch. He goes for a fair, I guess to stop him before, but doesn't and, even get uh, the trade. Griffin with the... Uh, the mean girl's like, damn, I can't believe he really just said that about me. Yeah. Like, his expression was that same. His little corner control, yeah, he's, he's stuffing him with the, the foot. And he gets like a tournament winner. He's not playing that clean. Yeah. Uh, I would have expected him to kind of just roll Albert. Just uh -oh. kind of tear him up. In a 3-1. In a I think he's in a... Okay. Back to range? No, not yet. Two. Two. Damn. I like that he went back to center. That was a good. That was basically like a Street Fighter whip punish from Albert. He barely, barely caught the uh, where Griffin was with the tip of his foot. There. And so, like right there, he calls out the spot dodge, but he was just slow on the slap. I don't know if it's what. I can't believe he lived. He shouldn't be alive. Nice. Albert's really good at not attacking first and then attacking right after that. Right after a move comes out from, from Griffin. Yeah. Amazing. Whole crowd guffawed there. <laughs> he spent so much of this stock in the air with no platform underneath him. No Griffin, that, that was the most entertainment Griffin's got out of anything. <laughs> Just the fact that he rolled up and he called it out. <laughs> Might have even been an accident. In place again. Gets the shine finally. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, I can't believe that Ferdin hit. Yeah, that was so dicey. There. And in that same spot where he's like up being right there, which should be death sentence, it's like the first time I feel like he's gotten it. Right. He goes for the uh, the gem special. The gem special. That's the AZ name Ooh. for it. Is it the walk behind F smash? It's the tap of kints if you're uh, if you're worldwide, but if you're an AZ, it's the gem special. <laughs> I shine on a shield. Damn. He's landed it on. I think Griffin definitely deserved that grab, but it was a scary one to go for. In the left in theory of which character has the better clutch factor, I feel like Sheik oh. does pretty damn well. Yeah, it's a, it's just my theory has always been same thing with Puff. It's like there's just lower APM, not as a knock or anything, but there's less buttons to press, less stuff to actually do with your fingers, therefore minimizing the amount of like mistakes you can make. Coupled with like a pretty decent recovery. Yeah. Um, and then Falco just dying like a fucking, like a, a rock at the bottom of the river. Or a Salem witch. Or a Salem witch, if we're in the, the 1800s. She didn't float, dude. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> that was weird. It was weird when she didn't float yeah. with the rocks on her legs. I was so sure. <laughs> I thought for sure she would come home. 
Nice. No one these exact uh, crouch cancel presents too. Also nice just, paid. He misses like the easy platform follow-up and then just goes for three up tilts. Oh man. Interesting. What was the idea with the shield there? Maybe he's trying to watch out for a jab after Ooh. he misses there. Tries to get tricky. I feel like Griffin's thrown out a lot of moves this game. Specifically. Yeah, but he's also grabbing in the right spots too. Albert's preemptively shielding and getting grabbed and like it's a it's a really painful grab, you know. He's been pretty on his tech chases. Here we go again. Oof. Shame. You can get the turn on up tilt. Hey. <laughs> Two shield grabs. Ludwig S. You gotta go for it. <laughs> Spooky! Sledge cancel. Oh! Got a shine here. Oh, he misses! Wow. That's such a bad feeling. It's like missing the ledge hop knee with Falcon. You just should hit it. No excuse. Nice nair. Shy guy in the mix. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. He's letting him play. Oh my god. Griffin's DI. One of the best. It's really tough too. Like uh, uh, she coming off the ledge. It's like ledge dash built forward tilt, right? So the how do you beat that is like maybe run up shield grab, run up with punish the the F tilt. But like she just has so much she can do as well. So yeah. Albert getting caught by it more than half the time is it's unfortunate, but like it's also baseball mixing it up really well. Grab. He grabs he says so no. much on platforms. Can't believe that one happened. Shy guy's in the mix. I, I don't think anyone goes maybe to Hungry Box. Goes for as many grabs on platforms as Griffin. It's the new chic way. And uh, he just Palestine connects. does a lot too. Yeah. It's so good. Should get this. Albert in trouble. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame to die that quickly. This is uh this is Yoshi though. This is where Falco just kind of he, he enters the mode. The the supersonic, whatever you call it. I will say for the amount of whiffed grabs that uh, mm. Captain Face Roll is thrown out, he's not getting punished that hard. A lot of these grabs too are coming from whiffed dares from Damn. Albert from a full hop, which is like... Pivot grab! Not a lot of lasers either. Oh no, uh, that's it! Bounces off Randolph, didn't expect it. All off the pivot grab from Captain Face Roll, and it was a 3-1. Although it looked dicey for a moment. Yeah, for sure. I mean, also if Albert doesn't miss that ledge dash, maybe he's like, he takes it to a, a spicier game one on Battlefield as well. I think odds for this tournament were like... It's like maybe 50 Zane, 45 Mango, and I think like you could say 5% face roll. 5 face roll. Well, like not the top not even the field. Where's the where's the sheet? It was uh it was Axe, but Axe obviously not playing his main. SUJ, I guess. No, he's yeah, that's big. Uh, but well, like, like taking first. He has to beat Mango. He, has to play me, I he would have to beat Mango and I just don't see that happening cuz when's the last time he's lost to a Falcon? Omsa's a vibe too. This is actually a really juicy top 8. Omsa could, yeah. Yeah, I'm not giving credit to Omsa. He also has to play Spark. I'm not giving credit to Omsa because I guess he's already in losers and almost lost to West Balls. Spark's not going to win. Yeah, but he's playing against Mar Spark, who is shameless. Yes. And that's a, that's that matters. I would change it. I will say it's 35 Mango, 45 Zane. What do you put on none? All right, let's make some bets, dude. I'm up from Bucky's. You're up, too. Yeah. Yeah, I got cash in my wallet. <laughs> well, I'll bet. What do you want to bet on? Who wins it? Give me... Uh, I don't think I don't think Spark has a chance here. I think Spark has like Spark's oh, like winning a 20, the tournament. To, twenty to one to beat Amsa right now. Right now? Yeah. Twenty to one. Yeah. No. You don't think so? Not a chance. What do you think he's at? That's a five percent chance. No, I'll take the twenty to one odds. I'll take twenty to one. Okay. I'll put, I'll put five on it. I'll give you a hundred dollars. All right. Yeah. I think this is a safe bet. I mean, it's very safe for you. It's five bucks. All right, you're, not, it. you're not sweating. I just believe in Omsa. What's Spark's best win? Spark's very good. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I could tell you. There's NorCal heads in the chat popping off right now, but we can't see the chat. Yeah. Um, I saw the end of uh, of the West Balls Omsa set as well. Very close. God, he he is the swingiest player in the world. West like, Balls by far. Or Omsa. Uh, West Balls. Yeah. The swingiest. I mean, he has the highest range. It used to be Mega Christmas, but then like, what, he just doesn't have the highs. Well, we were talking about it's like the ability to beat people above you, and the, the ability to not lose people below you. Right, he will right, lose right. to anyone below him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he, there's that classic meme. Like, yeah. West Balls can beat anyone, but and we can beat West Balls. That's kind of not the case anymore. But like, still taking it that close to Amsa is like his range is lowered, his ceiling is lowered. Yes. And his floor is dropped. Yeah. But yeah, he almost brought Amsa. <laughs> Basically, he got worse. <laughs> <laughs> or everyone got better. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. 